Hey guys, it's Lane and Blake with Redefined Horizons, and in this video I'm going to show you how to take some simple data from a CAD system, in this case it's Brick's CAD, uh, into, into QGIS or QGIS, um, something that, that you need to know how to do if you're going to be a modern land surveyor, <laughs> and uh, it can be a little tricky, so uh, we're, we're going to, I think I'm, I can get all this in one video. Uh, I want to do some more videos on QGIS because uh, it's a really cool program that we use here at Redefine Horizons, the open source desktop GIS, which is really powerful. Um, so we're going to do some more, some more videos of these. So let me show you what we got going on. So this is our project, one of our, our project areas here. And uh, these are, are like the project alignments. And so uh, when I first set up our QGIS project, I didn't have these two to alignments, we call them corridor segments. <clears throat> so I, I need to go ahead and add those to the QGIS project. So uh, here's the QGIS project set up, um, and you can see I've got uh, I've got the corridor segments in there, but I'm missing these two little pieces up here. Okay, so we want to add those, but I've got a layer set up to label and style properly. Um, I've also got the uh, the parcels in here with the APNs. Um, and then uh, we've got the county roads. Uh, if you zoom out far enough, you get the county roads. And then we could just have some USDA NAEP orthophotography in the background. So we just we want to add these two uh, corridor segments uh, to this corridor segments layer here and make sure they get labeled properly with, with the segment label. Okay, so I want to show you how to do that. Okay, so the first thing you have to do in CAD is you, is you got to do some setup. Um, because uh, QGIS will not create what they call uh, simple features with true circular arcs, okay, and um, it's it's not alone in that. So uh, some GIS programs uh, don't like these circular arcs, and the reason why is it just complicates a lot of math. <laughs> so so we got to do something about those arcs. So <clears throat> what I did is I just selected these two polylines. Let's just do let's just do it again. We'll walk through it. And uh, we want to export as a DXF. Okay. So in BricsCAD, you're going to go File, Export, Export. And uh, I have a little folder that I created um, for for task one, which is to create these corridor segments. And I'm just going to put this in the input. Um, I grabbed the wrong one there. We want DXF. Okay, so uh, I'm going to call this corridor segments addition one. Okay, and we're going to save that as a DXF. Okay, and the reason you needed to do that is um, the DXF is a text format that uh, that can be read by other programs. So the DWG format is what they call a binary format, and Autodesk tries to keep it super top secret because um, they, they don't want you to be able to share data, which is silly, but that's just the way they operate. So if you come in here, you can see this DXF. Uh, let's see here. Um, looks like I'm hiding... Um, known file extensions. Let's see if we can fix that. Okay, so here's the DXF. You can actually open this with like a text editor. Okay, so it's a text program that can be read. Okay, all right, so we want to get it into a DXF, and I actually messed up. Before we make the DSF, DXF, we got to do something about those circular arcs. So let's open this drawing. So here's just my two pieces, and what we want to do is we want to do something about these arcs. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and explode these two polylines so we get the individual segments. Okay, and what we're going to use, we're going to use the divide command, and we're just going to place some points at even intervals on these longer curves, and then on the shorter curves like these, we're just going to straight line those, okay? And that's just a judgment call. So let's go divide. I'm going to say, so it says select the entity. I'm going to say I want five points on there, so it gives me those. This one's a little tighter. And we'll do five on that one too. Okay, these other ones are all pretty short. I think we can just straight line these. 
Okay, and this one down here is fairly short. I think we can straight line that too. Okay, so now what we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to go in and we're actually going to delete uh, the arc. And uh, we're going to draw a polyline. And we're going to just go dot to dot here. Okay. Uh, let's see. I want to set my node snap on. Okay. And so what we're doing is we're just approximating that curve. Right. Okay, so we'll do the same thing here. We're just going to approximate that curve. Oop, you know what? I messed that one up. Let's, oop, let's do it again. And you can see when we get these into the GIS, they're, they're going to look... They, they look pretty good. Okay. Then we can just get rid of these points. Okay, now these shorter segments, we're just going to straight line. If you want, you can go to the midpoint of the curve. If you uh, think that looks better. Okay, and we'll just delete those arcs, circular arcs, as we go through. So we got a few of these. Okay, so make sure you delete those arcs. I think we got two more here, and then, then we'll be done with this segment. Okay, that one's pretty short, so I'm just going to straight line that one. Straight across. Okay. And then we got one more down here. I think it's right in here. Yep. And that one's a fairly shallow curve, so we'll we'll just straight line it. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to turn these back into polylines so we don't have to merge merge them in QGIS. So I'm going to use the P polyline edit PE command to do that. It says, do you want to turn them into polylines? Yes, we do. We want to join them with a half a foot fuzz distance. Okay, we're going to do the same thing here. Oop. So PE for polyline edit, M for multiple. Yes, we want to turn them into polylines. And then we're going to join them with a fuzz distance of a half foot. Okay, now put them on back on zero. I'll say, hey, put them put them on the right layer. Okay, so these are these are ready to go into QGIS now because we don't we don't have any circular curves now. These are all straight line segments. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and save this, and then we're going to export it to DXF. Okay, just like we did before. So we're going to call this Add One Addition One. Okay, so we should have what we need to go into QGIS now. So let's pull over QGIS. Okay, so we're going to just go ahead and import that DXF. You can just say add layer, add vector layer. You can go browse to your DXF. So here's that DXF. We're going to go ahead and open it. Say add. It's going to give us this little message and say, hey, here's what I found. So it found our two line strings. We're going to say add layers. Close. And so you'll notice now we have a new, a new layer here. And it actually has these. Um, it actually has those segments. They're, they're a little bit hard to see. You can style these. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's see here. Just make these a little easier to see. Uh, 
Oh, it's not letting me do that. It doesn't like to do that with the DXF layer, but you can see them there. We can turn off the orthos. There they are. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to copy these um, and we want to paste them uh, to uh, the corridor segments label. Okay. And I can't remember if it'll let us do that direct. Um, it may not. Um, so th this is just kind of a visual display here. So you, you can't actually, um, I don't know that it'll let us, uh, that it will let us select these features. Let's see if it will. Yeah. Try making that the current layer. Oh, okay, it will let us select them. So you make that the current layer. Let's see if we can just paste these right over. I can't remember if it'll let us do that. So we're, we're going to select those two now. It's kind of hard to see. They're in a bright yellow. And we're going to go to Edit, Copy Features. Okay, and then we're going to come down here to Corridor Segments. We're going to toggle Editing so that that layer is editable. And then we're going to say Edit, Paste Features. Okay, and you can see it put them in and, and put those little X's on the nodes. Now I'm just going to click over here. So now you can see they're on that layer. Okay, and then we're going to say right click on that corridor segments layer we're going to say current ed edit save for all layers yes save them okay now if we turn off the DXF layer you can see those are now those two segments are now on our GIS layer so we can actually remove the DXF now okay now they're not being labeled because I haven't set the label yet okay so let's just go ahead and do that and then we'll be done So we're going to pop open this attribute table. Let's see. This layout is a little bit different on this screen than I am used to. There it is, attribute table. Okay, and so one cool thing in QGIS is uh, as you select features, they will highlight on the map screen. And you can see I've got these two down here that don't have an ID, a segment ID. So as I click those, they will highlight. Okay, so I want to go ahead and add my ID. Okay, so we're going to call this one 35372259-0. Oh, so see, I think this one is, uh, I think that one's 7. And this one is 35372259-8. Okay, and you can see as soon as I make those edits, uh, I go ahead, uh, Q just adds the label there. So then I'm going to say current edits, save for all layers, and then I'm going to take the editing off. Okay, so that layer cannot be edited now. And uh, I actually goofed up. This is 6 and 7, which means these need to be 8 and 9. Okay, so let's just pop. Let's uh, make that editable again and pop open that table. And uh, we'll go fix those two numbers. So that was 8. And this one should be nine. Okay. So those updated, eight and nine. And we're going to toggle editing. Okay. And uh, we should be good now. Okay. And just, um, yeah, it looks good. Okay. So what we did is, just as a review, we took that data out of CAD for those missing segments, right? So remember, we were missing these two segments here. Okay. We uh, converted those curves to essentially polylines with straight line segments that approximate the curves, right? We just did that with the divide command. Then we imported the DXF into QGIS, and we copied those features from the DXF layer, and we pasted them into the GIS layer. Okay. So uh, that's, a, that's a fairly short tutorial video on how to get some simple linear geometry out of CAD um, into QGIS and I appreciate you guys watching and, and we'll definitely do some more QGIS uh, videos.